tomorrow, not traveling with us. Uh, tailbone, um, just medical thought it was best to keep him back to get him some extra treatment. So how long, I, I don't know at this point in time, but just he's not traveling tonight. Dallas obviously is playing under some tough circumstances. Yes. But do you think there are things that you guys can take from this game that you need to put into regular practice, like the pushing the ball, the spreading it out, getting, you know, shooting the three-pointers with uh, – yeah, no, I thought, I thought you know, just the last two games, I think getting better and improving, I think, you know, offensively, clearly they had a, a, a you know, a tough game against Milwaukee and then obviously a tough turnaround playing as late as they did and coming in here and then obviously having, you know, some, some integral players out. Um, you know, I think for us just offensively, I think we're, I thought we tried to move the ball. I thought we generated good shots. Um, I thought we found the open man. I thought the floor was spaced well. Um, I think there's always things you can take from from these 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 games. Billy, recently you mentioned that your preferred offensive formula is five to seven in doubles and 25 or more assists. You've hit that a couple of times since you mentioned that. If you're telling us that, obviously you're emphasizing that to the team. How how much do you talk about it, and is it something that you think is? Something that you can attain more often than not. I, I think the assist part's a little bit misleading, just because I think a lot of it's based on whether the ball goes in the basket. But you can track the potential assists, and I think we've been at our best. You know, we, uh, you know, we scored 100 and you know 44 points, and it was spread around. And the ball, I think, finds the open man. Um, I think Zach and, and Vooch and Demar are unselfish players. That when they don't have it, they'll they'll move it. Um, and it certainly gets other guys involved, but I mean, we're we're talking a lot about you know the ball movement, and making the game easy for each other, and you know, finding the open man, taking what the defense gives you, you know, recognizing how we're being guarded, those kind of things, and then you know, all that's got to be predicated on you know putting pressure at the basket, and you know, Vooch and Demar and Zach demand a lot of attention, so you know, it's important when they're in double teams like Vooch is from the post kicking it out or. You know, if Demar starts to go and they bring two people, he kicks it out, and then you know we can get the ball kind of swung, get it moving, and try to find the open guy. And, and along those lines, it looked like, I mean, the three point attempts seemed like they came within the flow of the offense. It was like inside out or complete ball reversal and swing. Yeah. yeah so I mean, we're, we're trying. That. You know, yeah. like I said to you guys before, I think I keep saying like we we, we gotta we. It's not that we just need to lead the league in three-point shots. I just think there's opportunities for us to take more threes, you know, that are good shots. I'm not just saying we just want to launch them up because I think you got to take what the defense gives you, but there are opportunities for us to take more, and I, I thought we did a good job recognizing and taking the ones that we should take tonight. Is getting Patrick more shots part of the game plan? Obviously, he's your highest percentage shooter, and he, you know, today I think was a career high for him. Yeah, I mean, sometimes the ball's coming out. You know, it's so it's you know, unless you're trying to run a play for somebody to get a three-point shot, a lot of times it comes off a of ball movement or extra passing. So he happened to be the recipient, as was DJ tonight. You know, DJ got a lot of corner threes tonight because the ball got swung and it found him. So it's hard to necessarily just say, hey, listen, we're just going to try to get this guy more threes because it all depends on how they're rotating and scrambling and what they're doing defensively. But I think the one thing we've tried to do is get Patrick closer to the basket offensively where he can kind of drive it or even post it up a little bit more and be a little bit aggressive because he does, he, he will make good decisions and good passes to guys. Obviously, the offense will be the biggest story of the night, but it seemed like you guys came out flying around defensively too, forcing turnovers, hit a lot of fast break points in the first part of the first quarter. What did you think of that effort at the beginning and then how that kind of developed? Yeah, I mean, I thought we got off to a really good start. I thought we played really well on both ends. The, we didn't really have to run what I would say, you know, a lot of half court offense because to your point, we got stops and we got steals and we were able to get out and play in transition for the first six minutes. I was a little bit disappointed the way we started subbing. You know, we really, I don't know, we were up by 15 or whatever it was, and they cut it right down to maybe seven or eight, and there was a lapse there. But we, we, we kind of course corrected and, and, got, and got it back up and played better. But I thought we started well, and a lot of it, to your point, was the steals and, and, and stops. You know, we're I think we're unselfish on the break. Um, we got to fast break as much as we can. We got to get down the floor. And, you know, I think that the steals and the, um, and, and the stops enabled us to do some of that. Thanks, Coach. Okay, thank you, guys. Yep, thank you.